Hello there. So how was the Mythbuster activity? I hope you enjoyed it. Isn't it surprising that we use certain words on a daily basis but do not understand what they actually mean? Now that we have understood what risk actually means, let us learn more about risk taking and risk takers. Here are a few important principles that you must understand about risks. One, think of risk taking like a balancing act. You move toward a goal, but you are well aware that you may fail. For example, when we travel by road or air, we could be risking an accident. When we invest our money in property or in shares, we could be risking a loss. However, this doesn't stop us from traveling or making an investment because we know that we're moving toward a goal. Instead, what we do is we become conscious of possible failures and take steps to manage the risks. Two, risk takers are not gamblers. They do not live through life depending upon luck and chance. On the contrary, risk takers are comfortable with unfamiliar situations. They are also comfortable with uncertainty. Risk takers face uncertainty in a planned, calculated and courageous way. They get out of their comfort zone to explore new paths, roles, ideas and strategies. Three, since risk taking is about getting out of your comfort zone, it may not come naturally to some of us because of the way we think of risks. However, the good news is that risk taking is a quality that we can develop. Finally, risk taking allows us to develop and make changes in our lives. In fact, positive risk taking involves weighing the pros and the cons in a situation and then making a choice. In other words, you identify risks that you could face in the future and then you develop plans to minimize the harmful outcomes. Resilience is something closely linked with risk taking. It is the ability to accept and make the most of change, even if change is something that we did not expect. Highly resilient people know how to bounce back from difficult situations. They do not give up when they face unfavorable situations and circumstances. Let me tell you a story. Have you ever eaten something at Kentucky Fried Chicken or KFC as it's popularly known? The founder of this company was a person named Colonel Sanders. Many years ago, Colonel Sanders owned a little restaurant. This restaurant was not doing well because the main highway on which it was located was being shifted. As a result of this, he was losing a lot of customers until one day his restaurant business totally failed. He was no longer young, but he knew that he had to do something. That is when he came up with the idea of visiting restaurant owners to sell his recipe. In exchange for the recipe, the owners would give him a percentage of what they earned. This was a tough task, but he did it. He drove around the country, slept in his car night after night, and tried to find anyone who would buy his recipe. Do you think that the first owner he met agreed to this arrangement? No. In fact, he met more than a thousand people until someone agreed. So what does this tell us about Colonel Sanders? Yes, that he was resilient. He never gave up despite the many disappointments he faced. Today, you find a Kentucky Fried Chicken restaurant in almost every major city in the world. Colonel Sanders made a fortune because he had the ability to face failures and the attitude of not giving up. Resilience is a trait that all of us can develop. Whenever you face a challenging situation, just train your mind to think of barriers as bridges to a better future. This was just one story. There are many others from whom we can learn about resilience. 
Did you know that Steven Spielberg was rejected by a university three times before he decided to drop out and become a director? Or did you know that Richard Branson had launched 400 companies before he set up his most novel, out of this world venture, the Virgin Galactic? So, all you young people, if you thought that risk taking is negative, think again. If the Wright brothers didn't take the risk of flying the first airplane, we wouldn't be in a global and connected world today. The Wright brothers too must have felt fear of failure, but they just learned how to work with it and channel it. And that's what made them resilient. <laughs> I now take your leave with that as the final thought. Goodbye and see you soon. <laughs>